I'll show you now how to start a DVT project from scratch. Every DVT project has um, a certain amount of folders with some names as well and a lot of configs that are global that are going to define how we work with DVT. So to get you started, DVT actually gives you a startup project that has all of the basic and has like two examples of some models. And there are two ways that you can generate this. So you're going to create a repository from scratch. DVT must have this connection to your repository. So in a Git provider, uh, whereas in GitHub in this course, but it could be something else. And if you're using the CLI, what you're going to do is run this DVT in it and it's going to create all this uh, file tree with all these files. And if you're using DT Cloud, the IDE is going to guide you through this. And what it's going to create is among all these um, folders, you're also going to find something that it's called the project YML. And this is something that it's going to be created as well with things that when you're working with the CLI, it's going to be asking you. And when you're working with the cloud, it's going to be things that you're going to uh, be adding in your configurations. And here we're going to define the name of our project, what's the connections that we want to use, uh, where do we want to store things, and we can define some global uh, configurations. I'm going to show you how to do it from the cloud. Um, so I have here my, my project. I'm in the IDE. Um, I'll show you how my account um, is set up. So within my project under Texas, I have my connection to BigQuery. And something that I've done is, and I gave my project a name, which is called TaxiWrite. Something that I've done is I define here a subdirectory because what I want is my project to be created under a folder in a repository that already exists, which is this one, TaxiWrite New York. So the project already exists, but we're going to uh, create this project from scratch and at the end it should look something like this. Um, so it's important that we set that subdirectory adapted to your repository. And I have here this connection to query and this connection to the repo. So once we go in there, we're going to see that we are by default on the main branch and it doesn't allow us to work on this. Um, I will create a branch to work with this. And I'm going to delete the old project. So I can show you how to uh, do a project from scratch and we're going to be recreating that project on our own. Um, I'll commit. In your case, you either won't have it, or if you have it, then I, my recommendation is that you do delete it. So then you can follow all of the steps. Um, if you saw, it told me to initialize my project and it created this taxi rights New York. This is where my project lives with all of this folder, similar to what we saw. And there's this project YML. By default, it gives me this name, um, my new project, but I do want to call it something different, uh, like um, Taxi Rights New York. Um, there's a version for my project. This is, um, we could, if we wanted to change the names of the folders that come from the by default. Um, and then here as, as well, we're going to just do Taxi Rights New York. Um, and here we can do things that we apply for it. So, for every model. So here, for example, applies um, materialization table to all of the models under this structure. We're going to delete this because we don't need this yet. Um, under the model tables, you're going to find that example folder and you're going to find some initial models as well uh, with its lineage. This is how a DVT code, a DVT uh, model looks like. Um, you could do a DVT build as well from your whole project if you wanted to make sure that everything is working here. You'll notice that there's DVT depths as well. What it's doing here is setting up your environment. And well, it had as an example, a test that it fails to remind you to do your quality checks, I guess. 
Um, yeah, so we're going to commit all of this in it, my DVT project. This is like the hello DVT world. And we'll see next uh, how to start the development of those models.